data and strategist. Peter, what do you make about this then? Is this a hark back to Brexit principles or do you think it's a bit of a show stunt? I think it's a bit of both, really. Um, in a way, I think it's a bit of a nostalgia. Some, like you said, it's a really good feel, good factor kind of story for kind of certain generations and a kind of voter that Boris really needs to win back, particularly post-party gate. Um, whether it's going to have any major impact, I, I'm not 100% convinced by it, but I think it's little things like this that just push him a little bit full, a little bit further on, and then he'll do something else, it'll be a little bit more. And I think that's probably the strategy that they'll be going with. And we'll just have to see how well it works. I mean, Boris, clearly one of Boris's political strategies is to stay popular, yeah. just as a person himself, and to create feel-good headlines. Mm. And there's no doubt he has achieved that this morning. Oh, definitely. Um, I mean, uh, since Partygate, uh, Boris's personal brand took a real heavy hitting. If you notice, the Conservatives have started to move away from having Boris's front and centre. If you looked at 2019, you'd think Boris was the Conservative Party. Mm. Um, in terms of creating all the stories, I think, particularly as we kind of live through the cost of living crisis and, and those kind of, that kind of feel as though things aren't really going very well and he needs to kind of get a little bit of positivity back in the country, the, the, the small things like this, weirdly in this country, often Matter. work. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> in other countries, I, I don't really think that this would really be a thing. But um, over here, we're very nostalgic over our kind of pounds and ounces. One thing I will say is there's a couple of generations that have never used pounds and ounces. Yes, true. My generation being one of them. And I, I often sometimes have to sit on my phone on my converter to try and work everything out. Yeah, but you're snowflakes. <laughs> snowflakes. You can only you can only multiply by things by ten. Hey, that's true. Yeah, and we all carry around a phone with a calculator <laughs> right now. So. Yeah, that's very true. <laughs>